4th of July weekend is normally one of the busiest times at the airport, but this year it may not be an option for some people to fly with delays and cancellations across the board. For our DFW headquartered airlines, Southwest and American each have more than 600 delays today. Just under 200 cancellations for Southwest Airlines and around 125 for American. Be ready for anything because it seems like it's it's a big disaster. It's certainly been that way for Adam Daney and his kids. Their Wednesday American Airlines flight from Massachusetts to Oklahoma turned into a three day affair. I mean, we paid twenty seven hundred dollars for the four of us to fly to Oklahoma and back. After hours of delay, their first stop was North Carolina, making the floor of the Charlotte airport a place to sleep. I had to sleep on two um, sweatshirts as a pillow. I was freezing cold. More than 24 hours later, only part of the family would make the flight to OKC. We were the first four on the standby list. They had spots for three. Adam wanted to get the kids to their grandparents, so the children ended up traveling without their single father. After trying to get my third flight of the day rescheduled. On Thursday night, Adam, now a solo traveler, recorded a video of the line. You guys trying to schedule flights? Another restless night at the airport. It wasn't until Friday morning he caught a flight and made it back to his kids. Need a shower and a long nap with the lights off. The delays and cancellations are being blamed in part for weather, but a shortage of employees is clear. We've reported on the crew shortage at American Airlines, and today the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Organization says at Southwest, around 135 aircraft mechanic technicians need to be hired to fill gaps in understaffing. Don't check bags. From Adam's family to travelers. Bring a sweatshirt. And maybe some Try patience, too. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu.